I'm not planning on getting it in the face. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. It's, it's so these are better. Because That's especially cool. if you're not super happy with it, you can swap it out with another. Yeah, so it's almost like a, like a little chin strap from your helmet, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it, it tends to stick a little bit more up oh, okay. like that. Yeah. Gotcha. So it gives you more, it'll give you projection out this way. Okay. How I place it also determines on how it looks. So if I place it a little bit higher, it won't, it'll make your chin actually look a tiny bit shorter. If I place it a little bit lower, it'll make your chin look taller this way. Okay, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I wonder which one. I think I probably want lower. So mm -hmm. Taller because that makes, mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like my chin's a little short. Maybe a little, not much though. Yeah, I wouldn't change it too much. I think if it would be mostly it would just be just projection. There's another one that actually comes down further that gives you even more height. It would be a very, very square <coughs> style chin. Now it would be it could look great. Yeah. I mean <laughs> yeah, I mean if you want that look, it would look it could look really good. And a lot of men I would say I would say almost fifty percent of men go to this. Yeah. Because they really want people they have tend to have a little bit of a weaker chin already. They like the idea of having that square masculine chin. But it would change your look. Yeah. Drastic. So that one would be more drastic. Yeah, more drastic. I Do you mean, think it would still be something where people would be like, is it going to be, oh, you look good, or people would be like, did you do something to your chin? Um, you know? Most people don't notice things. I mean, I could yeah. do like a, like a relatively drastic like rhinoplasty on you, and most people wouldn't know. They okay. would say, you look different, but I have no idea. Did you cut, cut your hair? I mean, they have no idea. People won't know. <laughs> people notice things, but they, they don't consciously know what it is. Exactly. Yeah. Right. They're, they're not that specific. Yeah. Uh, so in terms of between these two, mm -hmm. I mean, we, which one would you say you would recommend? I mean, obviously, I know that you, mm -hmm. they can be. Uh, modifies. You know, I don't know how much. You know, uh, well, no, quite a bit. I can, okay. I can shave them down. I often do. You can, if I, if we say we put this in. So these are, these are sizers. So these, so you can see this is the square one. It's exactly the same one. So these are all different sizes. They come in small, medium, large, extra large. Okay. So we can order a couple sizes, but I have these to try. You know, okay. put in temporarily. Actually, look at your on the table and say, "Wow, that looks way too big or way too small." We need whichever, or okay. it looks great except it's too square. So if that's the case, I can shave down these points a little bit, bring them so they're not quite so wide, bring them in a little. Okay. So I can do a lot of modification. The thing I like about this is I start with more material. Right. Which it's easier to take away. You can't. You I can't add. add. Yeah. Right. So, Very true. Yeah. I mean, I am my eye naturally is drawn to. Mm -hmm. uh, the more square ones, but I and I, but I'm also attracted to the fact that yes, it can be modified. Mm -hmm. So because you know, I don't want to have a massive chin and you know, right. I'm not going for something huge, but I would like it to be because um, I think it'll just bring my other features. Yeah. The fact that I don't have a perfect nose, mm -hmm. I think it'll help offset that more. Because you know, I like my nose's character. You know, like, so. one, one nice thing also is that I can you can order both. Okay. So I have different sizes. You can try both mm -hmm. and see which one looks better. Well, the best way to communicate, though, is for you to actually give me some pictures of chins of, on people you like. I really love the, this guy's face because of his chin looks like this. Okay. So, I mean, obviously it's not going to be you, yes. but it gives us an idea. And I, and I get an idea of what, in your mind, looks good. Right, the aesthetic. Right. Because exactly. you're an artist. You know, yeah, I try that. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay, so in any case, those are probably the two go-to uh, implants. Now, these all have, are very similar. They're all nuanced. I don't think it's that important because I can modify any of them. Okay, cool. Yeah. But these two are usually the, the go-tos that I use the most. That one often tends to be too round. Yeah, I definitely don't want a round. Yeah. I don't. That one's okay, but it tends to, uh, when you use this on a female, it tends to look too broad, so I always, almost always end up shaving the sides off of this one. Okay. But that's essentially what this one is already. It's the same idea with the size shaved. So gotcha. I'll shave it a little bit more. So, but there's, you know, this one here is for, this, one, this one's not for. I get a really, really square chin. Yeah, exactly. So this is for someone who has a very super pointy chin. Okay. But uh, doesn't have, um, uh, so they have a lot of projection, but narrow, and they want square. So that's kind of what that does. So this doesn't give you almost no projection. See, it's very thin here. Yeah. There's okay. a lot of width on the sides. I've never used this one. Yeah. <laughs> But there's a lot of different kinds. I don't want that guy, you know. Yeah. I, I'm definitely more drawn to the one that would give you more room for 